All right, guys, so I got to give you an update on what's going on in the Republican caucus. Of course, Matt Gates and his gaggle of idiots uh, ousted Kevin McCarthy. And um, ever since then, it's been total chaos. So there was a moment where it looked like, hey, Steve Scalise, we're going to go in the direction of Sk Steve Scalise. He's going to be our leader. Um, but that fell through. And it fell through because while he had the most votes, he didn't have enough votes. And he was like, I'm not going to fight for this. And then he sort of stepped aside. Well, now, excuse me, it looks like Jim Jordan is going to be the direction they go in. And look, Jim Jordan, I predicted it would be Jim Jordan after McCarthy was ousted. And the reason I predicted that is because he was a big defender of McCarthy and thought McCarthy shouldn't have been ousted. That's point number one. Point number two is even though he was a big defender of McCarthy, he also was a mentor to Matt Gates, so Matt Gates likes him. So if you can unite the McCarthy wing and the Gates wing, and by the way, to keep it real, McCarthy's the the wing of 95% of the House Republicans, and um, Gates is the 5%. It's actually even smaller. I think it's like 3 or 4% is the Gates caucus. It's only like eight people or something like that. If you can unite them, okay, that's great. Now, um, there's still trouble in paradise, though, because Jordan's having a hard time winning enough uh, of the supporters, too. And look, sorry to say, but if he can't win it, I don't know if anybody can win it. Right? Like, they're just going to be in permanent chaos. So in Raw Story, they say approximately 20 House GOPers are plotting to ruin Jim Jordan's plan to become Speaker. Representative Jim Jordan's grand plan to replace former Representative Kevin McCarthy as Speaker of the House looks like it's heading to the dustbin of history. According to one senior GOP congressperson, CNN is reporting that the lawmaker claimed there are approximately 20 Republicans who have been plotting over the weekend to take the take to the House floor next week and derail the controversial Ohio Republicans' plan to assume the Speakership. According to the report, Jordan won't come close to the 217 votes he needs, and in fact, is far away from breaking 200. Wow. With at least 40 House Republicans refusing to fall in line with Jordan's wishes. Speaking with CNN, the GOP lawmaker who saw... The GOP lawmaker who saw not identified... Okay, that's a weird sentence. Explained, the, appro the approximately 20 I've talked to know we must be prepared. We cannot let the small group dictate to the whole group. They want a minority of the majority to dictate... And as red-blooded American, as a red-blooded American, I refuse to be a victim. They had, I know many of, I know of many hard nos. We can't reward this behavior. We can't let a small group be dictators. According to CNN's Manu Raju and Jeremy Erb, there is still, there is still sizable opposition to Jordan. The GOP member says there are some Republicans who are critics of Jordan and not willing to back him. And there are others angry at the hardliners who took out Kevin McCarthy and sunk majority leader Steve Scalise and don't want to reward those moves by electing Jordan, who is their preferred candidate. So, look, here's the thing. I see no way out of this. Jim Jordan, like I said, was a staunch defender of McCarthy and debated Matt Gates on the floor and said, we shouldn't oust McCarthy. And since Jim Jordan was a mentor of Gates, Gates is like, I would take you, right? But there's plenty of people who are like, I don't care that Jordan um, backed McCarthy. I'm still really pissed at Gates. And the fact that Gates wants Jordan and is okay with Jordan makes me not want Jordan. And so if he can't, he needs 217 votes. He doesn't even have 200. The number's between 20 and 40 who are saying not going to be Jordan. Well, then who the hell is it going to be? Who's it going to be? If it's not Scalise... And it's not Jordan. Now, we're getting word that... Now, here's the curveball. You guys ready for this? Is it possible for Democrats, like centrist Democrats, right-wing Democrats, to get involved here and to purposefully pick one of the even more... Jordan is not a moderate. Gates is not a moderate. Mac McCarthy's not a moderate. Is it possible for Democrats to get involved and pick one of the most moderate Republicans? and make an alliance with the more moderate Republicans. So have a group of, uh, you know, 20 centrist Democrats and then a bunch of moderate Republicans and just to screw Gates, get one of those guys as the speaker. So in other words, Gates ousting McCarthy because he wasn't conservative enough, it might backfire in a way where you get an even more liberal Republican to be speaker. That would be amazing. Now, to be clear, I know Hakeem Jeffries and Democratic leadership are like, we're not bailing these idiots out. We're not bailing these idiots out. So I don't know, I don't know how many Democrats would even be open to having the negotiations to make a deal like this. Apparently there are informal talks going on right now. But look, I'll say it, man. 
I disagree with the centrist Democrats, the right wing Democrats on so many issues. And I rip them like nobody else on this show. But should they take advantage of this chaos? Absolutely. Stick the Republicans with a speaker who's more reasonable than Kevin McCarthy. That would be amazing. And this would be the classic example of the far right tripping over its own dick and uh, leading to more wins for Democrats. I would support that. Uh, now, look, is that possible? Yes. Is it likely? No. But the final point I'll make is, I don't know what is likely. Because it looks to me like nobody can get the votes among the Republican caucus. Nobody can get it. So where does that leave us? That leaves us with a government shutdown in like, Jesus, 36 days or something like that? And they don't even have a Speaker of the House. So how are you going to, you got to get a Speaker of the House and then you guys got to negotiate to fund the government. We've never been in this position before, man. This is like, I know that Congress is known for not having a shit together. This is even more than usual. They don't have their shit together. And so it's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be a wild ride unfolding in front of us. All right, guys, that's the show. Love you all very much, as always. Uh, everybody do me a big favor. Please click like. Please click subscribe. Still trying to grow the channel. Please click that bell icon so that you get, uh, you know, a notification every single time a video drops. Remember, you can always support the show on Patreon. It's deeply appreciated. Link in the video description box below. You can tip on YouTube with a thanks button. That's much appreciated as well. Never had a conversation with an advertiser. You guys helped me build this show from the ground up, and I love you, love you deeply for it. And that's all I got for you. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.